Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nerd video series on C interview questions and this is one of the interesting questions in C interviews. What is the difference between these and these? So actually if you will see in the first place, they are like strings being initialized to some container and then we are just simply printing them. But there is a very big difference. So in this first case, it is C program to print an array of strings. So this is array of strings and this is array of pointers of string, sorry, of strings. So in this case, this is 2D array. We are just simply storing these strings and we are simply printing them. And in this case also, we are storing these strings into this 1D array. So this is 2D array and this is 1D array. I'll show you with pictorial example, like what is the memory layout and how it actually differs from each other. So let's talk about this guy first. As we can see, we have four rows and 10 columns. So we are just saying that, okay, provide me 40 character 2D array. So let's look at the pictorial representation of the first program. So if you see here, this is how your 2D would look like, right? If you have 2D array, this is the representation and we have this terminating string. Okay. So this is null. Now, if you see this, you will notice one thing that these things are actually wasted. If you notice these things are of no use because when you will print it or use it, I mean, if you really don't want these, then you are not going to use them. And most probably, if you really don't know the difference between these two, you are definitely going to end up not using these. So these blue ones are actually wasted. So 2D is like this. And if we go and check out this guy, which is actually the same characters and same strings. Now let's look at this representation. This is very precise representation. If you see here, you're not wasting anything here. See, and in previous representation, you were actually wasting so many memory. So first is memory saving. Second is the update is also little bit tricky in that case. So I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Update is the issue here. What I mean is, let's say if you want to change this, what you have to do is a r r of zero equal to maybe something hello, and this will get changed. But in previous case where you had 2D, it was of this form, right? A r r of, we had this column place, and then we had this, sorry, this is row place and this is column place. So you will have to go and change byte by byte in order to change this. But there is an easy solution for this also. There is a function called strcpy. If you'll use that function, it will do that byte by byte copy for you and you don't have to actually worry about this. But this is more easy, right? I mean, you can see this, it is so convenient. So if you have to choose between this and this, then better you should go for this. If you can do this, now you have the answer like where to choose from. So you know, like this is very handy and memory efficient. This is not so good. Let me quickly run this. I'll comment this out and I'll compile this code. It is compiled. If we'll run this, see, this is CBVNet's channel. So this is working fine here. Let me uncomment this guy and comment this and I'll compile and execute the answer exact same. But you know that, okay, this is taking huge memory. I mean, relatively more memory than this, whereas it is doing pretty much the same job here. So you might be wondering that where we should use this. I mean, if it is there, it means it has some importance, right? So it's a homework for you guys now. And if you know something good about this, you can comment and it will be fun. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I will see you in the next videos.